I'm going to break it up into steps real quick, and I'm going to explain it the best I can. And I can explain it pretty well, better than other people if they leave stuff out. So, go up and jump off. You want to make sure you get this timing right so you do this right here. Okay? Step one is get on the zip, jump off, pull back. You're going to apply step two kind of at the same time. Step two is you're going to look downward as you're also pushing your joystick back forward. And then step three is you're going to super jump, which is obviously like that. If you don't know how to super jump, then what are you doing? Go learn how to do that before you even try to do this. Yes, it's like that. Jump off the zip. Boom. Climb up. Mantle it. Practice that. Make sure you get that timing. That's the step one you want to practice. Pull back. And then push forward as you're looking down at the same time. And then you're going to want to go ahead and hold that interact button so that you can hear the interact go off. Once you hear that, you apply the normal timing you would for a normal super jump. And you're just going to as you're pushing your joystick forward, you're going to pretty much go flying. That's a mental jump. Okay. Yeah. So you jump off the zip. You climb and mantle. Once you see that floor, you pull your joystick backwards. And then as you're looking down, you push your joystick forward. You're going to hear that zip line interact as you either click it or hold your interact button. Once you do that, you're going to apply the normal timing for a super jump, which is right there. That's all that is right there. It's just a super jump. Okay? That's why it's called a mantle jump, because you mantle it, do your inputs, and you super jump. Um, you're going to get used to the timing, and it's going to be easy. You're not even going to look at the floor anymore once you get the timing down. You're just going to feel the timing, and that's it. Like, I don't even look at the floor. I just feel the timing, and then I do it. But yeah, that's what you want to get down. You want to get real fluid and... um. The smoothness of it okay flick your joystick down as fast as you can i recommend you turn your sensitivity up um yeah yeah that's that's pretty much the best way you'll be able to do it flick your joystick down once you do that that's when you're gonna want to apply the uh super jump you should already be interacting but once you look downwards like 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 pretty much like halfway halfway down that's when you should be going for the jump part, okay? Like the uh, the super jump part. IRL, you're going to want to keep your controller steady, and you're going to want to stay calm. Because at the end of the day, it's a lot of stuff to remember. It's a lot of inputs at once. Uh, it's a very specific order, so just make sure you stay calm, keep your hands steady, and you'll be fine, okay? It's just one input after another. That's it. When it comes to movement text in this game, timing is everything. So you want to make sure you practice the timing. So break it down step by step for yourself. Go in game. Don't just mimic what I'm doing. Get a feel of what you're doing. Understand what you're doing. Break it down step by step again for yourself with your own controller. So go in there. Practice the timing of when you jump off the zip. Practice the timing of the super jump. It, it gets a little confusing. Again, it's a lot to do. So just practice the timing and eventually... It'll be like muscle memory. It's, it's going to be so easy. You're going to feel stressed. But another one of the best tips I can give you is don't overdo it. What I mean, don't overdo your training. Don't overdo the practicing. Because the more you practice, believe me, you might not feel like it. But you're actually going to forget your, uh, your movements the next day. So practice no more than 30 minutes every day. No more than... 40 minutes you should be fine you should get it down to maybe like two weeks maybe a month no more than two you should be able to do it consistently in three months tops okay i first learned to do it over there i got started over there but i learned to do it consistently over here because i can just mantle jump from here to that zip go back down i hate this game yeah, I hate this game. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. You're gonna wanna do it over here. This is where you like, bro, like, I'm just fucking lagging. Whoa, what 